Good morning, YouTubers. Where should I start off today? It is Monday morning. We got a lady coming soon for our gas stove. Hope she buys it. I reduced the price to two fifty. I bought this chain a week ago. Lady mailed it for me. It says nine two five on it. It's really shiny. It looks silver to me. I believed it in the picture. Nine two five stamp. Looks silver. So then I was gonna buy two more because she had another one. I paid 60 for this, then she dropped the price to 50. Now she has a 26 inch chain longer than this for the same price, 50 bucks each. So I went to put the money in the bank for the transfer and I said, oh, I better hang on a sec. Let me take this to a jeweler and see if it's real silver. And the guy just picked it up and goes, no, it's not, it's a fake. He said, it's a pretty good fake though. And I said, are you kidding me? Got scammed on Marketplace. Should've fucking known better, sorry guys. So anyways, I told the ladies, fake, it's all fake crap. Oh shit, someone's here now, for the stove, I gotta go, shit. Stove is gone. Goodbye. Good rinse. That thing weighs a ton. Weighs a freaking ton. Got my master on. 250. The guy said I'll give you 200. I said, oh my god. I said, I was gonna take 200 bucks. Just want to get rid of it. He said, okay, how about 220? I said, okay, deal. Get the goddamn thing out of here. I'm sick of that gas stove. Every time I go to move it, all the top shit falls down. And weighs a ton. It's killing me. I need the space too anyways. Get rid of it. Gas stoves are hard to damn sell. Alright. Oh, I, I don't know if I told you guys about the dryer issue. That lady that I sold the dryer to and told me it was still under warranty after four months. What I did, I tried to go fix. I thought it was a timer. So what I did is I replaced the timer. And when I was replacing it, I heard some clinking on the bottom of the dryer. And I seen the spring and two aluminum clips here it is here so I, I gave her another dryer delivered it brought it in the basement and I said this time I'm gonna plug it in and we're gonna run it make sure it works fine so we plugged it in we ran it and a day later not a day later next day she said I used it, it was working for 20 minutes and then it has the same problem as this one has you push the start button, it doesn't start. I said, are you kidding me? Come on, it worked fine when I was there, I plugged it in. So I think it's the motor, those things on the motor, I don't know what they're called, but this is all new to me. I just realized this part here. I don't know if when you move the dryers around, because going down the stairs, you're bouncing the dryers. I think those clips fall off. I'll show you what I'm talking about. There are clips on the motor that engage and starts the motor up. They have two springs and two pieces on the side and it engages the motor. Somehow they're falling out or falling apart. I don't know how. By moving the dryer down the stairs and it bounces them off, I don't know. I tried to YouTube it, there's not even a video on that. So I'm gonna make a video on that. Not even one video explaining what the hell that is. There's videos talking about the motor, how to change the motor and what is what plugs are what and stuff, but they don't mention that piece there, I don't know why. But when it takes this apart and I'll show what I'm talking about. Oh yeah, I don't think I finished the story about this silver chain. Yeah, so I bought this, 60 bucks, came in the mail. She was honest about that. So I took it to a jeweler. He didn't even test it, he picked it up and said, how much you pay for it? I said, 60 bucks. He said, it's a fake. I said, why? Silver's not that much, only a dollar a gram, right? It's not the money. He goes, no, I can tell. It's a pretty good job they did at it. It wouldn't be stamped on the claw here. If it would be stamped on the actual chain if it was real, 925, not the clock. So yeah, good thing I went there. I was gonna send her another 100 bucks for two more. Then I called her out on it, fake. You know what she says? Well, where I bought it from, they told me it was silver. Well, there you go, that's it. That blew it out of the question. That blew it out of the law. Yeah, and I said, yeah, I never told you the truth, right? So yeah, she scammed me, I got scammed. So, uh, I'll just leave it alone. I was gonna post a picture of her post and say, hey, this is fake jewelry the hell with it so well it was only 60 bucks learn my lesson <laughs> shit i'm gonna buy a real ch silver chain at a jewelry store this time okay let's take this dryer apart 
All right, guys. In here, see this thing here, plastic piece in here. See how it goes back and forth, like that. So when you hit the start button, it sends power here to one of these wires, and this will engage like this. It'll go in, and then the motor starts running. Out, motor to run, push the power button, engages, starts running. Now, this is what I find in here, right? I find this, two of these, and springs, but I don't know where the springs went now. Found me in the back, hang on. Oh, here's a spring. And I find this. So this is the problem. Oh my God, this one's ruined. Can't even put this back together. Oh, spring's caught in the corner here. How the hell has that happened? Oh my God. God. Hang on a sec. Take this out of here. So this spring here is ruined. Can't use that no more. Can't get out of this damn hole. There's one spring. There's one here way at the back. So I don't know how these things get loose. This is part of the leg, that's nothing. Alright? So at least on both sides like this, they engage. I guess they make contact, right? Where's the other one though? I'm trying to figure out. And I don't know how they just pop out or what the hell. I never knew that before. Where's the other piece? See, I don't even have the other one. I can't even put it back together. I don't know where the other one went. Wow, my foot stuck. We'll be in the truck. Yeah, it doesn't make sense. Well, if this happens all the time, you move a dryer, that's going to be a pain in the ass. Really. Pain in the ass. Where's the other clip? Underneath the motor. See the motor spins. Oh, there's the other one right here. See it? It's still hanging on to the motor there. There it is. Now, I don't even know, know how they go back. Like, how do they set these things? Oh, it's hooked in there still. So that goes like that. Okay, see? Yeah, as you can see, it sets into this plastic piece there. It slides right down onto the plastic. And I guess the other one goes on the other side. And your springs connect. Let me get a pointer here. One sec, guys. Alright, so, and your springs connect. They both go on the side, and your spring connects here. And your spring would connect right here where the loop is. Going across the top and one across the bottom. So these things must just fall apart. And then, boom, you deliver a dryer, the dryer don't work because of this. And you're to take the whole damn thing apart. Much no video out there about these things. So, guys, I'm going to make the video now. If you hit the start button on the dryer and if you hold it, it runs. If you let go, it, it stops running and you smell like a burning smell. This is your problem, guys. Okay, this is called actually a uh, uh, C E N H. What's the name of them? Every motor has these. I didn't know that. Uh, configure or something like that, right? There's two of these and two springs that get attached. So that's the cause. If this happens to you. So I'm going to take a thumbnail here. All right, Let's see if I can get this back together. I think I got some springs from the other one I threw out because I tried to change the whole motor and it can, the fan broke, you guys see in that video. Damn, I thought these drawers are so simple. So yeah, and not only that, this is the, the starter. So there's a uh, start switch. There's three of them. There's one here. The button, obviously another one. Your door switch is another one. And this is another one here. In here, how that engages, there's a little cl uh, plastic piece in there that pushes that thing in. I'll take this off and show you guys. I'm gonna take it out and learn for myself too when I'm at it, right? You gotta learn this too. So I'll take this starter off and I'll show you guys. I don't know if it's easy to get off or not. Who knows? But yeah, there's a, in here, all you guys can see, there's a plastic arm that actually engages and pushes pushes that in 
to contact the motor. All right, guys, stay tuned. All right, so I got them back on here with no springs attached yet. You can see they're both there. How they sit, that's how they sit. And apparently, this is another set I got from another dryer that I found in the bottom of the dryer. So apparently, the, the spring, I can see why these would fall right off. If you bang the dryer, you're doomed. They hook, just like that. They hook on there. How are they supposed to stay hooked on that? Tell me. You bang the dryer, these will pop right out. Not even the ledge, though, it can stay on. And they hook on that side. And they hook on this side. Right, that side I can see it was focus. I can see it holding the spring a little bit more, but not much. Okay, see it just hooks on the ledge. And you do have little ledges with a spring where it holds the spring there. You can see it focus. And yeah, they fall off. Your dryer ain't gonna run no more. You gotta take it all apart and somehow put those back together. And it's not easy getting your fingers in there and putting the springs on. But I can't do it now because I try to fix this spring here. But I try to bend it, but I don't think it's going to hold. Because it's got to be looped like this one. Pain in the ass, pain in the ass. I don't even know if they sell those parts. But there's no video out there like that explaining that. They only explain that. The start thing here. Thank God. If you guys ever do this, good luck, man. Holy shit. I got the one on there. You can see how it's hooked. From there to there. So as soon as that spring, if it lets go, it's gone. It's a gunner. Now you gotta do the other side. That's one side. Then you spin your motor and do that side. But here, I don't know where it hooks onto. Because those pieces are, are flat. Like, where's the other spring going to hook onto? There's no little edge where it's going to hook. Maybe on this side. Hang on. Okay, let me see. Like, where's it going to hook on there? Right? <clears throat> where's this other spring? Focus on the camera right here. Going to go. That make no sense. They built it on purpose, no sides, so it won't hold the spring, so you can go buy a new dryer, probably. You know how they work. But yeah, gotta get the other damn spring in. What a pain in the ass. I wouldn't even do this. I'll just toss the dryer out. What a pain in the ass. Like, where'd your other spring hook on to? Make no sense. I might have to YouTube it. But there's no videos out there. So good luck on finding anything, except for this video of mine now. Pain in the ass. Pain in the ass. Goddamn dryers. And those things fall off like that. That's crazy, man. That's gonna be a hell of a hell of a job. Hell of a job, dryers. Oh man, who knows? Maybe all these dryers here have those springs busted off. Who knows? This is the only video. How does this guy do it? Freaking believable. Good luck getting the spring in. I think I got him in wrong. Yeah, not freaking easy.
the strength Or I got them in wrong, they're supposed to set on a plastic piece. By the time I do this, I'm gonna pull my hair out. That's a joke, I don't have hair. <laughs> That's it.